A few days ago, this user called Mariano Martin Ortega has found this one spot in the game where it technically is a dev spot in a way. It grants you a rifle, ball cutters, and some matches. The rifle comes with ammo, six specifically. It gives you 10 matches and it gives you the ball cutters. This has been in the game for a long time and no one has really found it until now. I'm pretty surprised that people are still finding out new stuff like this for Fear and Hunger Termina. Maybe Fear and Hunger 1 still has stuff that people haven't found yet. I'm really, really happy that the game has so many surprises and secrets that we can still have fun with the game even after 8 to 9 to whatever time months it's been out since. Even after this long amount of time that the game has been out, we can still find something that will keep us in the game as much as we can. I'm gonna go in depth with this topic of the dev spot very soon. However, I would wish to tell you what the ball cutters are for, what the matches are for, and the rifle is for. So, if you didn't know, you can use the ball cutters, which are the most important item here in this dev spot, to open up the main gate to gain access to Rehibo. You can also cut down the chandelier in the church if you don't know where the ball cutters are. Yeah! You can also open up the Woodsman's House, allowing you to gain a level with Grogorod, Sylvian, Vinushka, and Rare, in case you have any of those books early game. Plus, of course, a book being able to be looted in the early game is always great. All this is amazing, however, the main treat here being the rifle. The rifle, giving you 6 ammo, usually is enough to take out most enemies in the game, thankfully, except for a few, of course, like the mob. This weapon can remove, with a 100% chance, to do so, any arm that would come as a threat. So for example, an enemy has two swords, right? You shoot an arm off and then you use a range toss or any ability that will stun that foe, pretty much nullifying the damage from the enemy completely. Having uh, the ability to remove six enemies from being a threat to you is quite a massive thing, especially in mass mode. And the matches are also very important because they help you out a lot with mine. Every single time you light a candle, you gain mine. And this is very important for mass mode as well. But the reason why I think this isn't really a dev spot is because in Final Fantasy 1, you could just interact with a few spots that will give you items without any text. Well, this was amazing. It never had any text in it for you to be able to have a proper response that you activated something. You will just have your party members, you will just have items showing up in your inventory and that's it. In this one, the character says something and then you get the items. It is not a death spot, I would say this is intended for us, the players, to find out and use it to ourselves, to our advantage. This will not get patched and we will continue having this. This is up to us on how to use it in our future games. I personally would probably use it because I find it that it is part of the game. It took us more than nine months to find out about this thing and we shall thank each other, but most importantly, thank Mariano for finding this item. So please thank him for finding this amazing discovery, which is gonna help a lot to people who speed on this game. Well, that's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice one and bye-bye.